Good morning, family, and welcome to today's lesson for life. Today is Saturday, October the 11th, 2008, and today we're reading in Genesis chapter 12. Uh, now, I really hope that you're reading along with me because what I'm doing is just touching on a small portion of what is uh, in the chapter, and that's what I've been doing since the beginning. Uh, but there's a lot more that you can get out of it, so you uh, read along and visit the blog. You might see what other people are saying as well, too. But Genesis chapter 12, we're actually getting into the um, discussion of Abram, uh, who was introduced to us back at the end of Genesis 11. Abram and his wife Sarai, and um, his brother's son, because his brother actually had passed away, uh, which his name was Lot. And in the first couple of verses, uh, God is actually speaking to Abram, and he's saying that he wants him to get up and to leave out of his country, out of his father's uh, house and away from his family um, and he's going to go to a place that he's going to show him and he also goes on to say that he's going to make his name great and he's going to bless them that bless Abram and curse those that curse Abram and uh, all the families of the earth were actually going to be blessed by Abram's obedience and what I thought was important to mention here was that Abram didn't know where he was going to be gone because God said, you know, he wants him to leave and then he's going to take him to a place that he will show him. So Abram had to really just uh, act on faith and move to uh, not even knowing where his next step was going to be, but just know that the first thing was for him to leave the place that he was at. And I believe that's an important lesson for us to learn from this chapter is a lot of times we need to just uh, not question uh, what is, you know, what's our next thing going to be, just trust in God and trust that he's going to take care of us and just really have that faith because as Abram was able to move and to leave, then actually, like I said, all the families of the earth are going to be blessed. Now, Abram actually, if you read back to Genesis 11, was out of the uh, descendants, one of the descendants from Shem's line after, you know, the ark and it was uh, Noah and his three sons, but Abram was not, uh, from the line of Shem, but Still, God says that all of the families of the earth are going to be blessed, and we'll read that later on in the Bible as we go down. We'll see how that actually happens. But all the families of the earth will be blessed by Abram's obedience. So now Abram has to move and leave his family and not really know where his next step is going to be. But out of that, then there was going to be such a great blessing for the entire world. So that was an important lesson for us to learn in there. And then you also see actually how he even... Um, fulfills part of it when later on in this chapter if you read where he encountered Pharaoh and I'll let you read that for yourself. So, but like I said, there's so much more to get from all these scriptures, uh, but today's lesson was about Abram and uh, just his trusting in what God wants him to do. Now another thing may come up is, you know, well how do you know exactly what God wants you to do? How do you hear from God? And a lot of times I believe that we uh, you know, we verbally express in prayer, we verbally, you know, we, we'll speak out our prayer, but how you hear God is by listening to what God has to say, and that's by sitting still and being quiet. Just by sitting still and being quiet, that's how you hear from God. Because a lot of times we go through prayer and we're always verbalizing and speaking our prayer, but we don't sit still in meditation and be quiet and just quiet your mind and listen to what God is speaking back to you. And that's how you can hear from the Lord. Okay, so that was the lesson for today, Genesis 12. Um, thank you for tuning in. And like I said, I hope you read reading along and uh, writing or submitting stuff for the blog. But you can go back and look at previous things as well too. And create yourself a blessed day today. And I will see you tomorrow.